So one of the things I want to ask is that this is the first year, actually, you've been two years in production. You guys are going to market this year. That's right. What is that transition like, and, and how is that going? Well, it feels now like endless tests. So we're, we've got the system going on. We've, we're, uh, we're testing with cars. We're putting... Uh, charge spot, battery switch stations all over the country. We're doing it in Israel and in Denmark, and then Australia will come right behind that. Shai, you guys are different because you're actually kind of selling electric mile vehicles as you would sell kind of minutes. So it's a very different profit model. How do you, why do you think that this profit model is going to be sustainable versus what we're seeing with other automakers where they're creating, you know, hybrid electric vehicles or full electric vehicles? Uh, why do you think that the infrastructure and really basically renting the batteries is going to work? Well, we, we've uh, analyzed that the consumers will simply not buy a car that is more expensive than the average gasoline car. So you had to reduce the price to the consumer when they buy the car. And whereas everybody else said you got to pay a bit more to be green, we said you actually need to pay less to tip the entire market. We took the battery out of the equation by buying the battery ourselves, and we don't rent the battery out. What we do is we sell you miles as you drive. You own the car like you did before, but just like you did with a gas station, you pay for the miles as you drive, and that makes the miles actually cheaper than gasoline is. You guys have had more than $700 million in funding, right? Um, and it's been a lot of build up to this point where you're actually going to sell. You have pricing models already out uh, in Denmark. Yeah. How long is it going to take you, do you think, to actually start seeing traction and profitability and really get that confidence from Wall Street, per se? Well, we uh, in any market that we come in, Israel, Denmark, even the U.S. or, uh, or any country in Europe, we need about 1% of the population to pay back for the entire infrastructure. The, the amazing part about our model is that our cost of the infrastructure equals one week of gasoline use in that country. Now. Our goal is in Denmark to be the number one car in the market, not number one electric car, but the number one car overall in the market within the first 12 to 18 months. So it's a very quick time to pay back. Uh, it's a very quick uh, turnaround to become profitable and, and very uh, fast growing company. Hey, Shai, let me ask you a question. Uh, Matt Miller here in New York. We keep billing you as a company that's taking on Detroit, but it seems to me if you worked with Detroit, that would make things uh, uh, work a lot faster. Is that? Is that an idea that you've, that you've thought about? I mean, do you want to work with car makers or is it you against them? Yeah, we don't, we don't sell cars. We sell miles. Actually, we're taking more on the gas station than we are taking on Detroit. And if Alan Mulally or, uh, or any CEO of any car company feels like they want to build a fantastic car that will sell very, uh, very fast in the market, we're the best partner for them, better than the gas stations at least. To be fair, though, I mean, you are taking an industry that is extremely outdated and trying to build a whole new infrastructure, and there's a lot of different players in building infrastructure for these types of companies. So, I mean, why, how do you think, you say you only need 1% of the market, but 1% is still a lot of vehicles uh, when you talk about a global perspective. Why do you think you can do it? Well, we've taken a very different approach than, than the other guys in the sense that we didn't go after the segment that is the short distance, the urban driver. By building battery switching capability and putting battery switches across an entire country, we make an electric vehicle into a car. Whereas everybody else is saying, well, you're going to have to stay with this car as a second car or a limited range car. We actually make these cars go with unlimited range and for the first time with a cheaper price, not a more expensive price than the gasoline car. Should I want to answer here? Yes or no? You think you'll make your money back in 12 to 18 months in Denmark? Well, I think we will, uh, we will definitely get to break even on every infrastructure that we put in the ground within the first two to three years in any country in the world. Shia Gassi, thank you so much for taking thank the time to talk with us.